gentlemen standing in their way. I am joined by CJ. It's our second semi-finals. Will anything to what we just saw out of vitality and G Yeah, you know what? Juicy does. What a response. I mean, everyone went cake off. They said, surely the gentlemen, even after the Swiss stage they had, they've started off so strongly here. Three seconds in. What a message. And Carmen Cole, they're going to receive that message, and I'm sure they're going to punch back with something fierce. It's going to be Juicy needs to make sure that he doesn't fall to a few of those nerves, and what we'll staff him to make sure that he doesn't fall to those nerves. Both teams as well yesterday, obviously going to Game 7, having nerves of steel. Rise talking about it's the best series he's ever seen. Well, yeah. I think he's a bit biased because he was in it. A little bit. But general mates as well. I mean, what a series from them against Gen G. It's already 30 seconds in, and that one got standing so fast, nicely above the crossbar in favour of Gentlemates. We've got the fans right behind us, so whatever comes out of Gentlemates, they're going to be erupting in noise. The other side of the arena, the Carmine Corp Ultras, the blue wall, it is a battle in Copenhagen. How good is it? Just two teams, two massive walls going head to head here in the, the final. The semi viewing parties as well. I must be going crazy on Twitch. Yeah, shout out to everyone watching back at home, and that just made me wide open. He's got the second on the board for the gentlemates. It's a nice little P roller and Rise absolutely underestimating where Vitera was. The speed was not there. The spin the ball went way past him and Attachi. Eyes of an eagle can send it home. A rare start for K Corp yesterday. He looks so strong winning the first two games against the, against the Falcons, but today a few early errors. You rarely see those positional mistakes coming out. Tachi, how good was he yesterday in that Gen G series, picking up where he left off, contender for the MVP of the tournament? Bear in mind so far that Carmen have gone unbeaten versus Gentlemates so far this season. Curry sits at 2 0. This course would make it 3 0. And Gentlemates will need to withstand the sheer offense, the best offense that is present in this major. The positive for K Corp, even though that series was so impressive, we talked about Ryze's performance against the Falcons, we talked about Atto's heroics in game six. But it's Vatira, the man you're expecting to show up. Probably had one of his quieter series. That has to be a positive. If he can come online, yeah. you just think that they're, they're unbeatable almost. I mean, the fact, as you say, we all agree basically behind the scenes. Vatira, we, we didn't see him as much. We want to see him show up in this series. And they still won. Like, they still got that quarterfinals win. The victory did fall their way versus, in, versus Falcons in one of the best series we have ever seen on an RLCS land, but so far, Gentlemates absolutely getting the better of them. Yeah, advantage, Gentlemates, but here's an opportunity. Adso throws it across Rise, playing that facilitator role, looking for a fake. Vitero wants to get in, but we're just seeing the positioning early. It's a little bit messy. They're opening the door for the Gentlemates on the counter-attack. It's great stoic defense, Gentlemates. They're not worrying too much. They're not diving into every ball. We saw Vitality definitely fall prey to that in the previous series. Diving, sending two or three players to each one. And that opened up for G2, but Gentlemates have kept it incredibly calm. Midfield again, Atto of only 16 boots with a reset and a lot of ambition. He can get the dunk. It's going to be a relatively decent shot, but juicy to the backboard. Don't buy Matera. Rise is there! And here on Sunday, he will be showing up. That's more like it for Rise. Just wait for Matera to get the 50. Juicy. He wanted to get a bit more of that one and just the placement. Rise. One of the most clinical players we've ever seen on land. Probably the only player that somehow elevates his gameplay tenfold when he gets in front of a crowd in a live setting. It's a great start there. Still a lot of time left, only a goal back. There's two minutes remaining. Sees Vatira in that back corner. Lead the ball over towards Atto. Zero is on zero. Booth picks up that 100. And Booth has absolutely been the theme of this land so far. Whichever team controls the boost, controls the scoring. They control the series and ultimately their own destiny. Itachi into the corner now. Raz just going to meet him in the air. It's a fake again. We saw that from Vatira against Falcons yesterday. Atto to the side. Paycock trying to work this one forward. It is awkward though, gentlemen. Well, they like one more goal just to give themselves a little bit of breathing room here. Seiko. Net by Vatira. Another 50 coming through. Rise getting bumped in. Net throws it forward. Juicy. So much boost to work with. Gentlemates looking comfortable with 90 seconds left. It's good patience, however, from Atto. Just lets Juicy go for a reset. It's not going to be threatening in the midfield, so why commit boost to it? Rise out to Vitera. One up, down for the double, but Atachi rocking away. A great little pip for Atto. Central again. Seiko is going to be diving in. The MVP for Gentlemates yesterday for a lot of us in the casting room. 
Atira wanting to push it down further, but Itachi again blocking him off. And the story of Itachi going from that KC side, being cast aside, and then found, finding gentle mates has been something of complete triumph for him. Already as well, the comparison from the series yesterday feels a more tactical affair. You can tell that these two sides have screamed at each other so much back at home in Europe. They've played, as you said, twice in the European Open qualifiers. Here's the flick though. Again, demos coming through. Channel mates, 40 seconds left, trying to hang on. Want this game one win. Rice can't get the touch. Mispositioning from Rice. Very awkward for him, but the ball is going to fall back into the back third for Batira. Zero great demo. Again, great demo from Atto. Opens it up. Rice there a smidge too late. Isn't able to get any touch. Atto gets demoed as well. More pressure coming through. Channel mates just trying to buy all the time they can. The boost is, well, the spawn wasn't great. And the whiffs come through. Batira's up now. Wants one more. Tries oh. to find Juicy. Doesn't get the dunk. Completed for going the ball multiple times here, a carving court. But the final 10 now ticking down, it's Juicy with control in the carving court back third. Atto on the charge with Matera. Atto cannot get it over Itachi in the midfield. Rise now up, 40 boost, but who's there first? It's going to be Itachi, sent on Matera to catch. He can keep it up though, he's got a beat as well. There's Itachi Atto, he wanted a better one there. The demo came through. Matera's trying to keep it in the air. Juicy wants it on the ground. Itachi might just get one more gentleman's game one. ourselves are here a series here stumping game two forbidden temple sitting in the colors of the gentle mates it's pinks and purples but will it rain gold down on them Atto faking everyone out as well early chance for Tira over to rise he always scores these save down corner it's Hachi just getting that one away name something more <laughs> more impressive than rise going for double taps he scores them almost every single time, whether he sets them up or whether his teammate does. He always finds that top corner as well, Atto. That phenomenal ground pinch in game six. And he brings something similar here today. Rice is very awkward, Juicy. Here we go, back one shot, open again! Asako managing to follow up on the charts as well. It's Juicy faking out Rice. You never see that happen. He just panicked, didn't he, Rice? He got caught out of position, just so awkward, flat-footed. Back in net. Seiko, well that's the easiest goal he'll score all day. Keiko again, struggling early, giving themselves too much of a head start or lack of. KC okay, so don't want to be going down by two again. Just gives you double to try and follow up from within 45 seconds. They are down by that one already. Midfield sees Juicy. Low boost will find Hitachi, the main goal scorer, the main offensive player. And it's on target, Atto. Helps clear at corner bound, but who is there? It's Seiko. Again, just asking questions of the KC defense. Yeah, Matira nearly put that one in his own net. With a missed touch, more bombs coming through. We saw a Tommy do that in the previous series. That's a great touch from Seiko. Just pushed to the side, but Gentlemen, still on attack. With a lot of boost and pressure. Atto, that's not the best clear. It's wide open and saved, though! <laughs> Juicy fires! 2-0, Gentlemen. A series of a lifetime for Juicy so far. Puts up a pirouette, Rise helps it on his way in when the save may well have come in from a teammate. He just panicked a little bit and he wanted that, perhaps a miracle post bounce out, but it's a rinse and repeat of game number one. And it feels the exact same series as Gen G yesterday. Another 2 0 lead for the general mates. Keiko. And he to fire here. There's a shot on safe to get full up Rise. He always finds top corner, but it's touch is ready for it. Two out of three players on Gentlemates being awarded with saves there. Ooh. Now Juicy with a shot, Rise has to make sure that he gets a tap into the corner. Atachi, sidewall, backboard, Seiko, no magic found. How quick are Gentlemates looking? We've spoken about the fact that they look so impressive as a team. Perhaps the best three-man unit, certainly in the Swiss age, earned themselves that number one seed. Took down BDS as well. Now they're looking so strong against a team that they haven't been able to beat in the European Open qualifiers. This is going to be awkward for Itachi. Of course, he reads it to the corner. Atto trying to get in there as well. General mates just hanging on, and they're looking composed. I mean, when you say hanging on, I think they are doing a brilliant job. They've got they've got chalk hands. His rock face is all theirs. I mean, there's a stick above them in the shape of Carmen Cole, trying to shove them back down. Unable to do so, so far. Halfway through the game, Rise sees one as it goes for the player. Matera, a tame shot on target. Oh, pass, pass down there. though, Atto Rise! Water drop down. Atto with a bit of magic. They're expecting the second shot. Juicy Free jumps two on the backboard for the gentlemen. Rise goes low. Finds the angle, finds the opening. 
Kolarikov get one back, half a game left. And you talk about the players in this land that have showed up so far. Atto is absolutely one of them. Yesterday versus Falcons, he was a sensational player, a world-beating player. Still one more, though, to bring back in favour of Karminkov. He's got space here, though. Gets a touch around, he's got no boost, just fires it on Rise, looking for the bumps, trying to knock a touch in. He's just gone, oh, no! Surely not, almost a goal there. Huge mistake coming through, but... Hey, Cole, get away. Here we go. Ceiling, he's got a flip, uses it, pass down for Tira with the clear to the side. Seiko, 100 boost, takes it upstairs. Makes for the reset, gets it now and fires it over the top. Atto just can go to the side, he's lost possession. Batira wants boost, didn't get it. General mates keeping the heat on. Swarming around that KC back third, Batira finally abates that pressure. Only goes as far as Seiko, ceiling touch will be had. Low boost, can't be caught across the board. We saw Vitality and G2 not deal with that pressure very well themselves so far, but Kami Corp and the boys. They are managing to hold it on, but the midfield, again, the ball cannot eat fast. The defensive, they're sitting as well, Rise. All he can do is pop it up. The fake comes through. The shot goes through. 3-1. The shot was good. The scoreline is even better. Rice taps it up finally as they get boost. Bertacci reads it. The fake comes out. And Carmen Corp with a taste of their own medicine. Gentle mate, clear by two again. It was that boost pressure as well. You just saw Kay come and have a look at this. Hello. A double fake kickoff. It's going to be rise over to Ventura. Atto's there as well. Back to Vecchi! Oh. Rise has to do a three point turn to start this playoff, but a pinch from Ventura to Atto back again. It's a little bit of tick attack between the Frenchmen. The kickoff strats, both teams tried it, one team succeeded. K Corp get one back. Minute 25. This time, General Mates winning the kickoff battle. Juicy. With some space. The pre-jump comes through. He's dodged everyone. It's just for Tira last now. He tried to get the demo, didn't land it. Touchy can get one more to the center. It's a nice touch. Atto there in time. K Corp, they have to find one. Juicy just gets it off the bar. Toward target with a minute left. Still one trailing for Carmen Corp. That ball, Juicy with only 20 boosts. Gets caught out again. Matera removing Seiko. A brief 2v3. Back now as Atto wants to try and get that central. But time and time again, top corner. Post found, but Matera unable to send it home. That was nearly too good of a shot. They couldn't get a follow up off it. It bounced inwards. Matera now trying to keep it on. Gentlemen, they had no boost. Seiko finally finds 100. Cake off. They need one here. 38 seconds. Seiko, right hand side, anything past that halfway line is going to burn these precious seconds off the clock. So he gets 50. Juicy wants one more. Vitira, nothing to work with. Getting bumped off it and lost the boost. Has to back out of it. Atto's there. Drop down. Chance. Seiko goes to the side. Gentle mates looking to hang on. Vitira's got no boost. He won't be able to join the attack. And a clear again from Gentle mates. Send long. Vitira, 100 now. Rise midfield. That goes far enough. But the final defender in the form of Seiko can clear it away. Is this it? Are they going to go 2 0 up here? Shot across. No one on the Anyone? backboard. Seiko has to wait down. Bifat, he's not there. that can show up in these moments, repeatedly does show up in these moments. Farah needs to bring him online. Otherwise, gentle mates, my word, this statement series so far, you're 2-0 up, two more, and that grand final spot on the chance versus G2 is all yours. That's a great start with the bump. Vitira went as well, and now it's just rise. You gotta get that one to the side. 50 came through a touch, he gets demoed. This is step one for Kaycom. Don't concede a goal in the first minute. Their starts have been so powerful, so poor this series thus far. This time they have won the kickoff from there. They've got pressure. Itachi just keeps it to the side. Zero boost from a lot of general mates here. Itachi scoops some up. They do get it out. And this has just been general mates. Every time they look pressure, they find a way to just knock it to the side, grab boost and get out of defense. Yeah, boost has really been a problem for gentle mates so far, but it's repeatedly been the issue that Kami Corbett faced, but now it's Atto with more than enough boost, can get the rotation! Matera comes out of a blind spot, it's 1-0 Casey. Matera was looking for the bump on Seiko, but he turned into the offense, Atto faking it out. Matera finding the angle, Seiko in massive trouble. Avoiding that demo, K Corp, the first time this series they've scored first. And we said about Matera needing to come online. He is clearly powered up, making moves from going for the player, then being the spear tip of Carmen Corp. It's a minute in. Gentlemen, as you say, CJ, first time in this series, they're going to need to chase. 
Just sees the all oh, rise very nah, often. Trust. <laughs> Mate, that's I think about it. You can tell maybe the comms were a little bit nerve wracking there for Rise. There's the pass across. Juicy gets too much on it. Attach trying to keep it in. Great dunk. Tira trying to bait this touch out. It is awkward again, but Juicy opting to back off. It's going to be a little bit more routine now. Minute and a half in. Attachi on the back. A little bit of space until Atta comes in to try and challenge him. Rise removing Seiko from the pitch. And now the counter attack coming through. Gentlemates having to push that ball back. Actually, Vitira going past it. Thought Atachi may well have a touch there. Midfield sees Seiko send it high. Juicy to receive. But wide of target. Now it's Rise for the push into the orange half. This is much better. And Rise must have somehow blocked out. Vitira wants to get an angle. I get the power that he wanted, but this is much better from Kcorp. The way that they can just go through their gears, you feel like they've always got another level. That's why you can never doubt them out or doubt them. It's what we saw yesterday against Falcons. This is the best possible start off the timeout buff, and hasn't the timeout buff been good so far this tournament? And in Kami Corp, we're going to want to make sure that it continues playing ball, making sure that, yes, they're taking the timeout, they've burned it now. They want to make sure that it is going to be worth it, and their timeout does not get broken. Every series yesterday, one team goes 2-0 up. The other team wins the next three. Atto with the touch, Juicy at the free jump. Rise, pushing that one forward. Kaykov very happy with where this game's at right now. You see all of Gentlemates backing so far off. Seiko's been bumped. The shot come in, he somehow recovered with the flip. Gentlemates so far unable to secure too many shots towards the other side. Both sides having two apiece, but Kami Corp, the only side to yeah. have sunk one of them. It's a reset, it's a bump. No third man coming in for Kami Corp, however, to sing that final shot. Just there again for Tira. Demo! Oh, the best touch, the demos from it. Atto is certainly a change. Low boost for Vitira. Gives the ball to Rise. Tries to get a face. Seiko's going to be able to land, misses the dunk. Atto now with side wall, with time. Flip through, doesn't get the second rise, is keeping the heat on, the speed has been increased. Ferrer telling the boys to wake up a little bit. They're putting the pressure on now. A bounce awkward for the defense, but Seiko can catch it. Atto, corner with that pinch, rise now turned it back on it, zero boost. Story so far for Karmikov, bouncing very awkwardly over their own goal line. And Juice has to wait for something, Seiko committing along with Atachi, just scraping past the front of the goal mount. Minute 20, still this lead for Carmen Corp. They overcommitted a touch, gentle mates. Does that cost them all? This is going to be so bad for Rice. Oh! Oh! Demolition Derby sent down pitch. Juicy for the man, Seiko for the goal. You could just see as soon as that 50 came through off that sidewall, Rice was in a world of hurt. He was facing back as he was caught out. And the demo just meant that there was nothing the Rise could do at all. Open net secured, equaliser for Gentlemates. That's fantastic for them, a little bit of confidence. And not about the bump again, this time red by Vitsira. Pressure still on for the Gentlemates. One minute remaining. Tachi, left-hand side, low boost, no real chance to get it central. It's going to be a cursory touch instead, Vitsira. Can receive, sends it along. Now goes for the man and the ball all in one, up high. It's only juicy in favour of the mates. But missing that one, now Atto's called into action. Tachi midfield, Vatira up high, ceiling, backboard, anywhere it goes, he's going to be following. And he wants to perhaps get a bit of touch than that. He pinched it around, Rise went for two as well. Gentlemates, a little bit of trouble. They're very slow to this reset. Atto dropped down, it's Vatira there, no, yes! Yes, no! Oh! Was it in, was it out, was it a win, was it a loss? Hovering on the goal line, oh, and Vatira sends well. Seiko absolutely clear. Rise with a tap in, but well earned from Casey. The bump was huge. You thought surely Seiko's going to get that one out, and then I thought for certain it was going to be in off the bat. Axo's missed, juicy, reset, big trouble for Rise. What a save! Big time player, juicy is becoming. Rise midfield just poking it along, get it away from the blue half. Ten seconds now, ticking down on the clock. Take off. Can this be the start of something here? They lost the first two, they just want one for the mental. It's weak. Seiko pushes it across, Atto gets the read, no boost for Gentlemates, he just wants the ball down. He's given it away, however, Rise right there, 50 down. Itachi, sidewall, still up, here we Chance. go. Seiko blocks, Itachi wants the pass, blocked down, still up. Up high, still in that blue half, anything to the ground. Rise face, KC secure their first. Time out, but chance arguably.
bearing on their respective teams. But here in the Coliseum, bloodshed awaits. Here we go. Game number four. Win, and you're in. That's so, well, he wants a grand final berth. That's the first major for him. Rise blocks out. And this is awkward for Juicy. Almost played it in the touch there. Tira wanted a piece of it. Nice so with good. boost. Nice little pop. Decent little pop, but not anywhere near where Atta actually wanted it to go. Oh, so that's this nice. Control the it's ball away. It's Rise. It's gets sent long. Juicy tracks back. Oh, Tira just didn't get power on it. It was wide open. And Juicy's just going the other way now. Seiko. It's the beat out, doesn't land on the boost, scoops it on the way through. Fits it off the wall. Just to the side for a rise, but Juicy's right there, gentle mates. And they're looking good. They didn't call the timeout, they kept it up their sleeve. Perhaps knowing how much, how important the buff is. Don't need it just yet. After one is big, so you may as well keep it for the second loss if that ends up coming in. If not, then you can make sure that you can slow down your opponents a little bit later on. Juicy going for another, but actually shies away from it. If he commits to that, that's a goal for the mates. They just hesitated there. Perhaps you can see how free that shot was going to be. Seiko backing off this. Atto to the side. Both teams lacking a bit of composure. The quality touches aren't quite there. Juicy's missed the clear. Rise fakes it for Patira. Seiko will get the free touch. Going to find a touchy downfield. Atto so quick to read that, however. Yeah, Tachi didn't really commit to that pass going through from Seiko. I think earlier on in the series, maybe he would have done. Realising that potentially this is, as we said, a different KC that has been activated. The usual KC has now been activated. Oh, juicy. Just sends that one downfield. Vatira with the clear rise is there. He really thought you about right turning. Atto, awkward touch, can't control it. Free for Itachi. Atto again, look at the recovery. Vatira underneath with the clear downfield. K-Corp just hanging on. They're not finding that link-up play, however. What can Juicy do on the ball? He's got to reset. No boost. He's got to fake it. Got to shoot what? it. So awkward for Keiko. All three went, but Rice came out with it. A zero boost reset play is precisely what I want to see coming out of Juicy, but now it's a chance with Rice trying to link up with Atto. So with Vatira, rather, a demo at the back. Seiko straight on target, tries to go above Vatira instead. Saved up high, Atachi Central, 40 boost, the reset. Seiko removing Atto from the pitch, and this is where moments oh. start to appear for gentle mates. It's been all gentle mates so far here in game number four. Rise though, the bumps come through, that's huge from Atto. He's got no boost, he's getting to work, more demos. Rise is looking busy, Vatira's faking everyone, pass across, no one home! But it's open at the back, a double chance! Of course, securing it and standing up, calling on all of his fans. That's what we want to see from Atto. We saw it yesterday in spades. He's brought it here in game four of the semi finals. K Corp first on the board. Still a lot of time for general mates, perhaps feeling like they should have scored three doubles. Oh, just blocked out again. K Corp's defense has been phenomenal so far since that timeout. Left hand now, chance to Atto, but he gets removed from the pitch entirely. Seiko handing it off towards Juicy. Juicy, my word, the player that he has become in this tournament especially. I've been extremely impressed with him. Seiko now up high, challenging. It's a miss actually from Rice. Tries to recover. He's able to, but Matera is. He just improving as the tournament goes on off the ceiling. Rice going to wait on the wall. Juicy hands it up to him. And gets another dunk on it as well. Seiko, all he can do is pinch it. He has found a team at Itachi, but this time, that's over there. That's a great pass out. Double commit Double. for Keiko, but they've just walked it around what? him. Can he get it on net? Watch off, anyone? No. Completely open. Not enough boost, not enough time to get around it either. Tira takes it upstairs. With the reset, one more, juicy. Double commit again, gentle mates. Panicking in defense, Atto. Trying to work to the side, not too much boost. Forces to touch, Rice is still inbound. Can't get the infield he wanted, there's the space. It's just Atto, he's just thrown the kitchen sink at it! Oh! The second for Atto! A very loose touch from Itachi in the middle, and then a 50 that Juicy just could not read, but he put forward a great effort to save it. But those 50s will sometimes go against you. Kami Gorm on their way to drawing the series. To have the nerve to do that, third man, up a goal, and just throws himself at that ball, gets the 50 and gets rewarded for it. That's what Land's all about. Who's going to be able to take the risk? I mean, that risk-reward game. And so, just so impressive. What a pick-up this season for K-Corp, Rise. 
going to keep it down. Low boost, but loves a low 50 or two. Itachi trying to get one back. They need two here. The demos Demo. are going to help. There's the pass, pass. to Seiko. Blocked again by Rise. You see that off this kickoff immediately. Gentoids are pushing. They're attacking Seiko again. Going central. It's Itachi. And how good was the fake? Seiko takes it up off the ceiling. And Rise. The pass was pixel perfect. Rise tried to pre-jump that touch. Did not get a fingernail on it. And of 32 seconds left, gentlemen. Can they do? Can they produce a little bit of magic? They'd love to move on to match point here. K Corp looking to tie the series up. A touch he's upstairs with Tira meets him in the air. Juicy now. A little bit of space. Ceiling. One more. Atto again. Rise throwing it downfield. 13. Ball being juggled right below the ceiling line. Vitira up again to block it. He has become someone else. The assist isn't able to come through. Final five, ticking down Atachi, right hand side, up high, three boost. The man central, it's Seiko! But the floor is well, and KC move into the fifth. Draw the utterly level. Strong. General mates, timeout confirmed. What have they got here in game number five? Here we go. So the kickoff strap coming out in favour of Carmen Corp immediately to Atto. Rise straight for those bumps. That is how they were doing so well during those on online open qualifier events. It's when he is aggressive and making sure that the opponents have no chance to be able to attack him. Look at the way as well. They've just squeezed up this offense. Rise positioning so aggressive. He has been caught out here, but still gets the pop up. It's he's trying to find a pass. Seiko, though, he turns away. He's not ready for it. That sums up gentlemen it's the last couple of games. They've just lost that three-man play. I'm calling them the best looking team as a team of three in the tournament. So far they've lost it, but that's awkward. Vatira takes the 50. Oh. Atto, it's even worse for him. K-Corp. Oh, troubled signs early off this timeout. This defensive set. Isn't exactly what they want. Rise gets the clear. Seiko keeping it in. Gentlemates. Wouldn't they love one early here? Atto. 50 to again. Itachi. Trying to keep that one in. Once again, it's Rise just to give them a little bit of breathing room. The positioning for all of Gentlemen is so aggressive. It may well catch them out on this play, but it doesn't. Very thankfully for them. Rise now, wanting to touch that down. Finds Vatira to the backboard. It's going to be awkward. Vatira's not there, but Rise is. He never even wanted it, Vatira, because he knew he had his old pal underneath. Rise, open net, top bends. This K Corp train has left the station. Rise Vitera hitting them with the old left right goodnight. And that first goal in their favour is going to push them forward. Gentlemen need to slow this bleed, however. It's going to be led from Juicy. Central, Seiko's there, leaves it. Maybe thought that Atachi was going to be closer, but he is not. Atachi, it's a reset, blocks out. Juicy upstairs. Vitera. He gets a beat as well, and that touch isn't great here for Gentlemates. Troubled signs. Timeout buff perhaps not working as well as it did for K-Corp. Pushing the heat now. Seiko, caught out, has to back off. Vatira finds Atto. He's going to be able to work this one around. He's just faking everyone. Open up for Rice. Attachi did so well first, man. Showing that confidence too with Atto, trying to go for those fakes. Unsuccessful that time, but now Gentleman to be thinking that Atto is going to be going for those fakes. Even if they go for the future, it's still be embedded somewhere in your mind. Rise 50 it out. Seiko underneath. More bumps. Rise is just an absolute pest right good. now. But Attachi's on the ball. He can't get it on net. No boost. It was after Juicy got the bump too. A steamroller going through the entire Carmine defense, but Gentlemates cannot work anything past that halfway line. Rise attempting it. Two players on the side wall in favor of Gentlemates. And we hit half time. That one goal so far for Carmine Court proving to be a lifeline. And the timeout, as we said, here we go. Atto, she's got a free double. He's got it. No! Seiko keeping it out. A 2 0 deficit would just be the worst possible scenario here for Gentlemates. Have to work this ball forward and have to start playing as a team again. Here goes Itachi. Gets the 50, still with a bit of boost. Seiko's waiting, fakes the touch. Blocked out, but again, there's just no follow-up. The aggression from Gentlemates isn't what we saw in the first couple of games. Almost seems like Gentlemates are assuming that Kami Corp are going to win it. A double whiff now. Juicy, oh, sorry, Atachi finally called into action to try and clear it away. But Gentlemates looking a lot less toothful. Sorry, there as well, Seiko. Just missing that one, faking it out perhaps. Atachi working it up, rise again. Hasn't really put a foot wrong. He can't get a double on it. Vatira just has to pop it up. 
just the way they're able to link up though, Cake Off out of defense. Their transition rises, grab that corner boost. Seiko with zero. Atto keeping the heat on. Juicy though has found himself downfield on the ceiling. There's no one there, but once again, rise that middle man, Cake Off. They just don't look fast at all by this offense. A 90 seconds. It goes midfield. It's rise, bounces, top corner. Cannot sneak its way in Matera Babon. Who's there first? It is Seiko. Midfield this is with enough boost, then very much helped on by a KC defender. Tachi takes it up, but Atto there again. Juicy has to go. He's won that cleanly, but again, the midfield play dominated by Kaycorp, dominated by Rice. Vatira takes it up, gets bumped. Tachi dodges the touch, dodges the ball, but keeps on it here. Atto just waits sidewall, but again, there's just no follow up. There's no bump coming through for Gentlemates. These attacks. Kaycorp just parrying everything away at the moment. Atto to the side. It's a touch. Juicy, that's a good dunk. Is there anyone home? Perhaps Atto almost there for the Gentlemates. Every striking blow so far for Gentlemates is being parried by Carmen Corp. That one flying above the crossbar. Attaching with a miss. He's low on boost now. Seeing it then it has to get something. Does not get it before Rise has a bite of the cherry. And he's going again, Rise. He might get bumped here, Juicy. 20 seconds left, Gentlemates, oh, here we go. Touchy downfield, he's gone for the bump. He's working it around. The fake comes through, Seiko's in the crib, no! Seiko a little bit too close to that play. Final 10. Gentlemates need to push something forward now. No turnaround. Itachi, that back corner. He wants it to be here, but Matera now up high. Just takes and burns these seconds off the clock. Now, zero second plays. Onto the ceiling, down to the ground. Carving court. Could Kaycorp be the best land team we've ever seen? Well, right now, they're on a one-way ticket to G2 in the grand final. Gentlemates, can they force seven? We've seen nothing the past few games to suggest that. But they're too good of a team to go out like this. Last chance saloon for Gentlemates. There's Atto wanting to say it's last orders. Goes bottom corner. It's not going to be there for it. Again, another chance on the goal line. Sent high from Adira. Now, again, that counter-attack needs to have some tooth to it. A little bit of bite. Just not getting the space, though. And Vitir is getting the touch. Can he get one more juicy almost? Can't quite get it. Rise takes it up. Gets blocked out. No boost. Fakes it out for Atto. He's going to keep that. Doesn't get the boost himself, however. Vitira, does he get the free shot? He goes sideball, double misses. 45 seconds gone. Neither has a goal so far. Rise, left-hand side. Instead, actually goes central for it. Only Juicy is there. He will take that ball, absolutely. A pinch tries to go below Rise. And able to. Tachi chipping one. Vatira, though, waiting patiently on the backboard. That is central. That's actually on target, and Vatira. Great eyes from him to clear it away. Yeah, Gentlemen, it's just a little bit too eager to follow up. Juicy with space. Reset around one. Fake around two. There we go! The drought has ended! Gentlemates win one back on Neo Tokyo. Itachi started this series like a house on fire in his back. He took, he went to bed for a couple of games. But what a time to step back up here, gentlemates. Anto wants to instantly respond. Seiko to the side. Gentlemates, one champ field. We're going to get a day of game sevens. Certainly, gentlemates will want Dangerous. that right now. Dangerous position for the ball to be in, but Seiko can clear it away because nobody from Carmen Corp expects you to make it that far. Eight boots midfield, Matera with a reset. Fakes out Seiko, ends up going low, perfectly past him, and with a boost steal, setting up for the winter that's going to be coming. Atto high with Juicy, matched over by Matera, who jumps over the ball, maybe a pass back, pass central. Rise now doesn't want to commit to it, since Juicy is up first. Seiko low boost, just pops it up. Touchy has space. Kaycorp trying to set up this defense. Reset comes through. Vatira wins that one cleanly. That's a great touch, but rises right there. Vatira looking for bumps. Atto, a little bit awkward. Does work it around. Juicy's up. So is Vatira. Does land the bump. Seiko, cross to Itachi. Just all of these touches. It's a little bit off. They're not exactly what they want here for Gentlemates. They do have the lead. They wouldn't mind one more. It's a reset with Rise going central. Relatively routine save with the end for Juicy, but you see the ambition building for Carmen Corp being down halfway through this sixth game on Neo Tokyo. Another reset for Rise. Shut down this time by Seiko. Now it's Seiko open, over towards the open net on the backboard. It's going to be Matera. Rise to tap it onward. Attachi with a huge interception. Huge clear for K Corp. 
Earn themselves the offense. Rice just bangs it off the sidewall. Seiko's right there. No follow up for K Corp. Rice again, trying to find Vatira. Mato's thrown himself. The bumps have come through. It's Hachi reset on net. Vatira oh. saves. Recovers in time. Kakov counter attack. Free jump for Seiko. Had to dodge the bump. Rice throws it on. Juicy's there. All comes down to Atto. Save this one away. Juicy is going to make it as awkward as he can. Up high. The second shot from Itachi. Seiko does get that midfield boost from Atto. Steals the corner himself. Quite work at Ford. Rise. Wants one down there. Juicy off the corner with a little bit of space. Gets Good bumped bump. out. Atto with space. What can he do? Rises up. Gets it wide. Where's the follow? Atto back forward. Vatira so deep. Doesn't want to get in there. Vatira sitting all the way back in France. Not even able to come in for that third man attack. Midfield again. Atto shoots. Right. Very low on target. It is raised and draw up game six. He's just always there. Phenomenal positioning. He was looking for the bump and he found the shot. Redirect on net. Got the little doink over the top. k -Corp tired up, one minute 24 on the clock. Gentlemates may would have thought that that game was very much going their way, but a fake kickoff going completely past Rise comes a lot scarier. The tactic was there, but the execution was not. Reset sends it just straight into Juicy's face. Goal line, it's gonna see Vatira now clearing it away. 70 seconds of shot, it's down low, it's cleared away. Juicy has to track back, he's third man here. It's Atto, just gets it off the side, gets beaten to the ball. A minute on the clock, general mates won't want this to go to OT. Rise with space off the backboard, what can he do? Can't get the touch. Nothing for him on that chance, that's going to try and remove Itachi from the play entirely. It's an Atto, he's up 50 boosts, it's midfield again. Rise gets dumped, it's juicy, with so many plays on the ball. And Carmen Corp look a little bit worried with what's to come. Rise is on it, 50 through. Atto keeping it on there, he's in the corner now. Rise looking for more demos, we saw what he did a minute ago. Tira, blocked out, Juicy gets the pass. Itachi's gonna have space, backboard, Atto's ready. It is very awkward for him, but there's no one home for Gentlemates. Counter-attack, blocked out again. Straight towards that final defender. Could have been a great chance for KC, instead it's a great chance for Gentlemates. For Tira clearing away, 10 boost. Will not beat Seiko to it, this is end to end. Love that from Seiko, just so much. Confidence one, in himself, that's two. a huge man out. Atto, can he just get this one home? Can he drop it down for a teammate? No one home! Nearly an old goal, flying in as well. Rise misses, chance for Tira to send it low instead. Atto and the boys want to finish it in regulation. He's going to take it up, he gets the bump. Vatira's there, dropped down, almost! Almost magic! OT! The arena erupts in red, blood is flowing. One more goal for KC. Say hello to G2 in the finals. Juicy's up. Rise misses the pre up. No one there. Juicy dropped down pass. Again. K Corp's positioning just find themselves in the right spot. Rise now. Redirect downfield. Seiko with a huge boom. Huge boom, boom to the other backboard. May will be return by Matira instead. Wants to make sure that he keeps it close. But Seiko's the one who's going to be chasing it. Rise now. Missing again. That has been plaguing that team. Massive demo from Matira. His space. Juicy. Eliminated from the pitch. Rice just works it downfield. Juicy's there. Straight control. Can get two on it. The second touch. You want that again. Rice steals mid boost. Atto. Find Seiko. Won't like that. And he gets one more backboard. Atto has to go. Huge touch from him. Can get it towards the side, but Juicy has been waiting and lurking. Tira this time wanting to dunk on Seiko. That's towards target. It's a touch. Juicy, my word, unable to put it in. I mean, where did he come from? Just sat himself downfield. K Corp almost learning himself to counter attack. Seiko, bit of space. He's looking for a bump. Doesn't land it. Atto again. You can just see the first man from both sides looking to eliminate third. They're looking for that easy goal. Rise sitting downfield. He gets a bump. Those bumps and demos have been the bread and butter of Rise this entire Carmi Corp season. That's how they've gone perfect over in Europe. 80 seconds elapsed. Now Rise below one. Can't quite get that second touch. Vatira steals the mid boost, keeping it out of enemy hands. Juicy. Trying to work it around. Corner boost obtained to the bumps again. Oh, goodness. Both teams playing on a knife's edge. Vitira just getting it. Juicy with the 50. Itachi's there. Just tries to find a bump. We saw Atomic do it last series. Didn't work there. Shot directly on target. Cleared away. Juicy wants to go backboard. He's up. It's central. It's on target. It is Juicy.
Vito. Early touch from Ventura. Saved by Juicy. Rise. It's the clear. It's Archie downfield. Atto. Can't quite control it himself. Seiko's up in the air. Rise. Again, there's the breach up in the midfield. Great pass across pass. to Juicy. Almost as good of a shot, but Atto's there in time. And I tell you what, terrifyingly, both of these teams are unbeaten this season when it comes to game fives and sevens. One of them has to lose here. That's just how this game works. Drop down, Seiko. He's given up possession. Top ends, almost open. Will commit from General Mates. They're looking nervy early. Haycorp again. The nerves are steel on Champfield. Vitira can't quite get it. Rises up. Has Atto on support. Finds it to him. Atto's been bumped out of the way. Vitira's underneath. Rises there as well. He's looking for the bump. Seiko just keeps that one up. And midfield again, the site of so many battles in this series. Dog fighting in the skies above Champions Field. Vatira wanting to push down that left wing instead, thwarted by Atachi. Not as many bumps no. and, and not, not as many bumps and demos and aggressive plays that we saw compared to last game so far. What a read from Juicy. Every touch, every moment. So much pressure on both these sides. That's a great Chance. infield though to Anto. Top bids, double commit. Push to the side for now. Gentlemen, hanging on. Rice has missed that ball. A shot so good, you have to send two players to it, but the, the offense is going to continue. Seiko, 50 Rice, who almost lands on it, does really well, does land on it. Juicy now. He's coughed up that corner boost to Rice. Trying to take a low 50. Seiko again, push to the side. Ball hanging above the crossbar. Seiko's missed the flip. So keeping it in, where's Vitira now? Takes it up, he's got the beat, Rise is underneath. Rise wants the shot, goes wide, Seiko just hands it to him. Seiko then attempting a must-see in the midfield, it's low, it's another chance. Juicy, anyone central, he's on the crossbar, he goes down for the top, he's not going to but it does! Game seven magic! Juicy again! Off the backboard, double tap, Rise couldn't get it, but it's actually good! Gentlemates, three minutes away from the grand final. Upset of the century. If gentlemen can get no this way. one on the open net. But he's got to get back. It's juicy again. Not a kickoff goal. Europe, what are we doing? K Corp of all teams and Rice turns up field. Devastation for K Corp. A one goal deficit turns into two in the matter of moments. And with three minutes remaining, Carmen Corp have come back from these positions previously. Atto harassed on the goal line. Chance him to send it high over towards Rise. No contact made. Rise usually icy on champ field. Couple of mistakes here already. Kaycorp, they need to go now. Rise is there, but the pass has, it just doesn't come through again. The lack of connection. Kaycorp not bringing their best to champ field. They always do, but not this time. Rise and Matera, 16 and four when it comes to Champions Field. They simply do not lose here. It will be 16 and 5. Certainly want to get to that grand final. The two number one seeds potentially. G2 again waiting in the wings. Vitira's up now. Corner. Touchy on there as well. So he does get the beat. Bots out again. The defense has just been phenomenal from General Mates. Kaycorp can't find a way through. Another pump pass from Juicy right by Vitira to the ceiling though is Atto. Shut down by Itachi. Send long from Seiko, but we see how much Juntoy's been pushed back on defense. How long can they withstand for? Under two minutes now, Atto takes it up. The miss comes through, double no. And a double wow. commit for Kaycorp. They threw everything at that one. But they're just not firing. Just not quite as on target as they were yesterday. Rise, the left-hand side with 100 boost. Tries to go central, but yet another miss. He misses the, the pass. He always hits those. Minute 30 left. Atachi, ceiling, nothing for him on that chance. 20 boost, now Atta wanting to push down net. Seiko backboard, another clear, it's gonna burn even more seconds. That's what they're looking, they're looking to solo play and just kill all the time off the clock. Kaycom, they've got other ideas, they need to now, they have to go. We've seen magic so often, but again, the bumps come through. Sent long from Seiko, now Matera on the back line, being pushed back a calming call. Rises up, 50 to get, general mates want one more. Matera with the save, there's only a minute, it's down the wrong end. Atachi, can I get this central for anybody? Any seconds that are gone is going to be better benefiting the boys in pink. Seiko clutching up, Vitira keeps it in. Juicy, just staying around the bumps. Rise, what do you got? Blocked again, gentlemates. Just keep responding. Complete patience from gentlemates. 
Atto, central, sees Vatira, gets the touch. Vatira takes it low with a block on the goal line. Another chance! The deficit is won! They just never go away, this team. 33 seconds, Vatira just suits himself in front of the ball. Rice cleans up. What do they have off this kickoff? We've seen kickoff dramas before, normally for Colmey Court, much more sensible. Matira actually shines away from it, rise now to the ceiling. 40 boost, backboard challenges with attaching. Atto, can he get it central? Can't, and if Matira's right there, Rise has to back off. They want space, they want possession. 20 seconds left, Atto with space, here we go, takes it up. Juice is off the side, reset, blocked out. Rise looking for bumps, but the ball doesn't even get far enough. 10 seconds ticking down. Here we go, Atto, is this the last chance for To the ground, this ball has to go. Rise is the one to help it. They're still held high. Still Side wall. Atto, any chance for a ball to hit the ground?